Hello everyone, this is Peter Shen from Christian Spirituality Academy here. As you know, my mission is to train people to call out to God and seek Him. And usually, the people who come to train are the one uh, that suffer from mental illness and or other incurable uh, maladies. Uh, it is because I have decided uh, they only accept people with issues. They cannot serve in this world as my trainee. And three years uh, have passed. Over the thousand people came to CSA, hundreds started to train, and many demons were chased out as well as illicit. I'm not here to brag or boast about what I have done in the past. I just would like to let you know that I'm risking my life and death when it comes to my ministry of chasing demons and melody out from people. Information I have acquired about demons from my training prior to opening CSA as well as from the patients I have met after I start CSA. But Christian let alone secular people avoid talking about demons for they are afraid. And that is why People who listen to what I say usually have suffering and pain that dry up, dried up their lives for long. They listen to me because they want to get out of their misery. But uh, maladies are different. Uh, there is always someone or uh, uh, whether a family member, friend, or an acquaintance nearby that have mental or physical condition and they cannot cure. And people are usually interested in finding cure for such conditions even if they don't have any. Unfortunately, the Holy Spirit told me about this vaguely. And they never told me anything in details. So I had a hard time training people. I was not able to provide expl explanation or persuading, uh, persuading guidance. Uh, thankfully, the Holy Spirit has given me the knowledge and wisdom about the cure, so I would like to share it with you. You are probably familiar with the fact that death is caused by our sins. It starts with Adam and Eve, and all kind of illicits came along. Illicits are the express way to death, if you will. Basically, sin is the direct cause of death. That is why Jesus told, told the man, the one who came down through, uh, through the roof, that his illness, illness was caused by his sins. He also told the other man who stayed by the lake for 38 years uh, not to sin again. Usually, the sins that cause illnesses are being faceless, not loving your neighbors, tiring yourself while working, and following your agreed and following worldly pleasure. Of course, these are just examples. Uh, there are tons more. Being face, uh, faceless is accepting negative thought like worries, fear, concern, impatience, disappear, doubt, etc. Uh, this basically means that you don't trust your God, that 
she, uh, she will come to your aid, uh, thus committing sins of being unfaithful. Now, loving your neighbors includes feelings such as hatred, envy, jealousy, resentment, frustration, and conflict. I don't even have to explain. Following your, agree uh, following your greed is working yourself to death, wanting to uh, become rich. Following worldly pleasure is working your mind and spirit in order to get the brief mention of physical pleasure. Uh, this is cause overwhelm, uh, overwhelming stress and tension, uh, stiffen, stiffening your muscle, disrupting blood circulation, disrupting your br uh, brain and heart to function correctly, thus hurting your major organs. A greed and lost matter with your uh, sympathy as uh, sim sympathetic uh, nervous system, uh, giving your heart a constant fatigue. In other words, demons lure you to sin and once you fall for it, they meddle with your circulation system to cut a blood uh, follow your body. They even pollute your blood itself, creating all kinds of health issues. The more you are exposed to sins, the faster you'd go toward death. Your organs, including your liver, weaken, and uh, you'd be prone to incurable illnesses and mental disorders. Then why do the action of calling out to God and seeking Him restore health and strength? Peace I leave with you, and my peace I give you, I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. John uh, chapter 14 uh, verse 27 <clears throat> Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Uh, Philippians chapter 4 uh, verse 4 now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. <clears throat> For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Romans chapter 14, verse 17. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Uh, what we train as CSA is to call God constantly, make a habit of the of praying for the Holy Spirit's enduring, acknowledging your sins, and to fight against them. Denying yourself is part of training also. And we are a promise of joy, freedom, peace, and rest when the Holy Spirit enters us. Something completely opposite of death and sin, uh, sinning happens when we pray properly. When, the, when you sin, your muscle stiffens, cutting off. A blood flow, lowering a hemoglobin a, a platelet. A heart rate goes up and down uncontrol uh, uncontrollably. Uh, there is not enough oxygen provided since the blood circulation is off. Your immune system weakened, giving Elicits more chance to reach on to you. But if the Holy Spirit, Almighty God, who created our body and souls, enters us, He gives us joy, peace, and freedom. 
will be rest well. Our body and the soul will restore its original function. Health, healthy blood will be great. Following uh, through our bodies, our health is overall restored step by step. <coughs> <clears throat> there are tons of promises in the Bible that will be cured if we pray to God. If we pray to pro 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 pray a prayer, God listens to you. But church today tell people the Holy Spirit will come to them if they recite the acceptance prayer. So they don't bother to pray or fight against the sins. It is because spirit of falsehood sit on the top of the church widow's head, filling their head with a sinful thought. As a result, church goers are, are no different from secular ones. They have a type of illicit and are without the ability to fix them. And there is no doubt uh, that all those people will fall into hell fire when they leave uh, this earth. It is because they have lived as a servant of demon, not God. That's all for today. Thank you.